Hey folks, Mike Page from Fargo Ray. We're dividing North America into regions, six of them. Strategy is to balance travel distance, populations, and geopolitical boundaries. And with six regions, there ought to be not that different than 60 million people in each one. Region one is given the name Canada. It's geographically big, has about 40 million people. The top 100 established ratings take you down to about 674. And the top players are Alex Pagalayan and John Mora. Region two is given the name Northeast U.S., consists of the states Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, D.C., West Virginia, and Ohio. Top 100 ratings takes you down to 671, and top players are Mike Deshane and Billy Thorpe. Region 3, Southeast U.S., Virginia, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida, and also Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. As 100 players down to 677, the top players are Skylar Woodward and Rodney Morris. South Central U.S. is Louisiana, Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, and New Mexico. 100 players down to 677. Top players are Shane McMinn and Tony Chohan. Region 5 is Western U.S., Hawaii, Alaska, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Players down to 675. Top players, Corey Duell and Oscar Dominguez. The last region, North Central U.S., as North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Top players Shane Van Boning and Justin Bergman. There are live versions of these lists that change every day, and people can access them and even favorite them through the Fargo Rate mobile app. To be on these lists, players will have to have 300 or more games total, with at least some activity in the last two years. We seek your help in cleaning up locations and name spellings, and you can email these things to support at FargoRate.com. So while it's true that players within each region are connected from beginning league player to top pro by a rating system, and players between regions are connected by that same rating system, let's be real. Mostly what we're talking about right now is like building train tracks when trains haven't yet been invented. With somewhat the exception of the Canada region, there are no regional pool organizations, no regional championships, no region or region team competitions, no travel stipends for top regional players. No tiered competitions within each region based upon Fargo ratings like Sweden is doing. But let's not sell ourselves too short. There is right now, for the first time in decades, a series of coordinated pro-level events. It's called the U.S. Pro Billiard Series. Event 2 just finished in Las Vegas. The Pro Series has rankings as well as tournament seating that incorporate Fargo ratings. This, the first year series, has two events in the Western region, one in the North Central region, one in Northeast region, and one in Southeast region, all before the end of 2021. Moving forward from here and actually building a train involves getting everybody connected through Fargo ratings, and a key part of that is getting league players connected through Fargo rate LMS. And that's happening. We've added 5,000 brand new players new to Fargo rate through LMS just this summer. So once again, check out the regional performance lists in the Fargo rate mobile app and help us out by sending location or name corrections to support at FargoRate.com.